It's every little girl's dream to be a Disney princess, to wear the gorgeous gown, to sing the catchy songs, to meet the Prince Charming, to live the day in their shoes. Cinderella. I was just like every Disney princess obsessed little girl. I owned all the dresses, knew all the songs, and quoted every line. Disney princesses were my life. The Little Mermaid was definitely my favorite princess, and that was because she looked like me. All the girls in my grade loved Ariel, but no one could say they looked just like her. For my sixth birthday party, my dad couldn't make it to the party because he was serving overseas. Although he couldn't make it to the party, he gave me a gift that is still my favorite gift to this day. Because Emily was so much into going to Disneyland and seeing all the princesses all the time. And he loved the Little Mermaid, so you thought how great of a birthday it would be to have an actual Little Mermaid come to her This party. is what, once the Little Mermaid got there, you guys were all so excited to see her. You especially, like, you always talk a mile a minute and you just stared at her and had nothing to say, basically. Just eyes wide open, mouth open couldn't believe she was there and um, but she said that she was there because of your dad and so you were just like oh, my dad sent you you were very excited time passed and my love for Disney was still very prominent in my life as I got older I became much more confident in my creativity and stage performances For Halloween, I always made the most memorable DIY costumes, copying famous Disney redhead characters. For my senior year of high school, I was on the hunt for a job. I wanted a job that was exciting, where I could use my acting and stage talents. I wish I could have a performance job like the girls at Disney. And suddenly, I remembered the time an actress was paid to go to my birthday party. I went on Google and researched Princess Parties Omaha, and I clicked on a few pages until I found the most professional-looking company, Real Princesses Omaha. I visited their Facebook page, looked at their reviews, prices, and photos, and knew I had to email and ask if they were hiring. I emailed the company owner, Bonnie, to see if they were. Bonnie emailed me back, telling me to send her an audition video. I had to sing Let It Go and read a children's book. I was immediately hired and I began the princessing job. Princessing is an unofficial verb used by performers in the industry when performing as a princess for a birthday party and event. The princessing world is a lot of work. You must always stay in character and embody the princess from head to toe. Each princess is different too. Aurora would never act the same way as Rapunzel would. I had to work on the distinctions between characters. I had to know every Disney movie like the back of my hand and be ready to improvise to any odd question asked by children. I mainly worked as Elsa, Rapunzel, Anna, Land Ariel, and Swimming Ariel. This summer, our company began offering swim parties where we wore fins and swam with the children. It was an amazing learning experience for me. Not only did I get to do what I love, but I got to leave an impact on a child's imagination. I discovered the importance of supporting a child's imagination, transforming into their role models so they can be inspired and educated. I got to watch the joys on parents' faces as they see their children's dreams come true. I learned throughout the process the importance of the morals princesses teach children, how kindness is power, how dreams can be reached with hard work, or how strong bonds with your family are important. So, you were always like into the Disney princesses, so and always dressing up, so, I mean, what else would you be doing, so, so dressing up as princesses work at all your Penny's, life. Maybe? <laughs> I have a pretty cool job. My childhood dreams get to come true while I'm making another child's dream come true. <laughs>